Hello and welcome to Daily Prepare. Today we bring to you a video on prelim specific current affairs. We're diving into the transformative Pradhan Mantri Janjati Adivasi Nyay Mahabhiyan or PM Janaman and how it's set to make a difference for the particularly vulnerable tribal groups or PVTGs in India. First things first, who are PVTGs? In 1960-61, the Deber Commission identified certain tribes facing disparities, leading to the creation of the primitive tribal groups, later renamed Particularly Vulnerable Tribal Groups in 2006. These groups, residing mainly in states like Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and others, face marginalization due to isolation, low population and distinct socio-economic traits. PVTGs grapple with challenges like limited access to basic services, social discrimination and vulnerability to displacement. They often face loss of traditional livelihoods, lack of market knowledge and exploitation by middlemen, hindering their development. Over the years, various government schemes have been introduced to uplift PVTGs, such as the PVTG Development Plan, Pradhan Mantri Adi Adarsh Gram Yojana and others. However, Challenges in implementation, resource limitations and unequal treatment among PVTG groups have impacted their effectiveness. Now let's explore what makes PM Janman different. One key aspect is proper identification and recognition. The existing criteria have been criticised for being outdated, leading to confusion and exclusion. The government's initiative to create a Human Development Index for PVTGs addresses these vulnerabilities. Another standout feature is the participatory bottom-up approach. PM Janman abandons the one-size-fits-all approach involving PVTGs in decision-making and embracing their cultural practices. This ensures their active participation in planning, implementing and monitoring development projects. Livelihood promotion is crucial. The scheme focuses on providing skills training, resources like land and credit and implementing the Forest Rights Act to secure access to forest resources. This not only supports their rights, but also preserves their cultural heritage. Health, nutrition and education are prioritised through tailored outreach strategies. Mobile medical health units address healthcare in remote areas, while incorporating their culture and language into the curriculum enhances education accessibility. Finally, infrastructure development is key. Relaxing guidelines for schemes like Pradhan Mantri Grameen, Sadak Yojana and Jal Jeevan Mission ensures better access to housing, water, sanitation, electricity and connectivity. In conclusion, PM Janman is a holistic approach designed to uplift and empower PVTGs by addressing their unique challenges. It's a step towards a more inclusive and sustainable future for these communities. If you found the video insightful, Make sure to like, share and subscribe for more such insightful content. You can also download the PDF of this article from the link given in the description below. Stay informed and stay engaged in these critical issues.